What's going on everybody? My name is Derek. Welcome to my channel. So, so today I just wanted to be a little more laid back and talk about the channel. I uh, haven't done this before. I did a video um, where I earlier at the beginning of this month to talk about the stats for September, which is cool. And I might do that again for October, but I want to today talk about the content that I'm putting out, um, 31 episodes in, videos in, I feel weird calling them episodes, but you get the drift. Uh, and I've tried a lot of different things and just wanted to uh, kind of share with you how this experience has been for me, which is totally positive and awesome. Um, but I think it's normal for any YouTuber out there early on to kind of struggle with what it is you want to talk about. And because you don't know, you're trying to find your voice, your passion, whatever it is you want to do, what kind of style show to what you want to talk about. And I've enjoyed that process. It's been fun. I've tried a bunch of different things. I have, um, excluding like the first few videos of this channel, uh, any of you that joined up from the very beginning, uh, the first couple episodes, I was really just thanking everyone for subscribing. <laughs> um, the first episode, the first video of a brand new channel got like 4,000 views, which is very abnormal. But everyone was curious. My mom was promoting it on her channel. Again, if you don't know who my mom is, her name is Darlene Mishu. She's got her own channel. Uh, and um, she introduced me to her audience, which is about 100% of you. <laughs> so... Um, so I feel like I can say my mom and you know exactly who I'm talking about. So, but it wasn't in, until like video four or five, six where, okay, now I got a channel. What am I going to talk about? So I s told stories. I've been telling stories early on. I told a lot of stories about being a musician, moving to Nashville, being a mascot, um, all these different things. Um, and you can check out. I have a playlist now called Stories. Uh, you can check them out there specifically or just randomly through my video um, page. I, for a while there, was uh, posting polls on my YouTube community page, which was a fun way to generate content because it would give me something to talk about. And I think three times I did a video where it was like recapping the, the polls. That was fun. Um, and then I, I kind of fell into this self-help vibe. Uh, just randomly, I felt like doing a video on imposter syndrome or self-doubt. Just because. And I really enjoyed it. I found that was a way for me to let you inside here a little more. Like me open up a little more. It did well. Performed well. And let's be honest here, part of this is analytics too. I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to figure out what works best. Um, so then did a series of more of the self-help stuff. And then my last video was uh, another story-based video about my years in youth baseball and how I got hit in the face with a baseball and broke my glasses. So, <laughs> uh, so I... I feel good about everything I've done. I'm enjoying it. But there is that situation as a new YouTuber where you're trying to figure out what's what to do. And yes, analytics can screw with your brain a little bit. And sometimes I'll watch some of my YouTube channels that I like, and they'll get on and bitch and complain about the downloads being low or the views rather being low or whatever. This not, I'm not here to do that. I'm not complaining. I'm very grateful and blessed to have this platform and monetized channel. What are you talking about? That's awesome. And I, I'm having fun doing it. But when you, when you have a nice comfortable average with some spikes, uh, where you have some videos that really just do really exceptionally well, but for the most part, you're right here, and it's a nice, comfortable spot. And then you release a video that's a stink bomb, <laughs> like like the last one I just did uh, about my youth league baseball. It 
makes you wonder why. Like, why is that? Um, and I don't think there's a definitive answer. I think it could be titling, the titling on the thumbnail. Uh, my mom designs the thumbnails, by the way. Thank you, Mom. I'm not saying it's the designing of it, but the titling is everything. Like, that's the first thing people see is the, first off, the title that's on the card or the thumbnail, and then the actual title. And uh, there's a channel I follow by the name of Rick Beato, which I've mentioned him before, where it's a great music channel. It's super educational. He's just a great music teacher and, and everything you can imagine about music. It's an awesome channel. Uh, several million do- you know, views a month, you know, 2.5 million subscribers. It's a big channel. And even he will talk about these things on his videos where he's not complaining. But he's just thinking out loud. And he's mentioned plenty of times where he'll release a video and two hours in realizing it's not doing well and change the thumbnail, change the title. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But these are the types of things that kind of get in your head when you're trying to have a YouTube channel because there's a science to it and not really a science to it. There's there's tricks and, and things you try to go by as far as when to release an episode what day, what time of day. There's all kinds of different things. Titling is exceptional too. But then sometimes you can do all the right things and the video doesn't do well. So it's just bizarre, you know. Uh, but I am having fun. I'm going to try more things. Those I don't know what those things are. <laughs> I'm um, just going to keep throwing stuff at the wall. You hear a lot about how the... Uh, the bloggers out there say, look, just get through your first 100 videos. Do whatever. Get through 100 videos. And then from there, you should have a, a, an idea of what it is that you want to do and your base. So I have enjoyed doing all the things. Have I found what I'm truly passionate about yet? No. Like I re- that's why I'm still looking for my YouTube voice, as they say. The self-help-ish kind of uh, videos I've put out would be the closest to what feels most natural to me because I like being able to relate to those things. And it is a way for me to open up a little more because I'm a pretty private person without feeling like I'm really opening up, which brings me to like vlog-style videos. That's the most weird, that's the weirdest for me and oddly makes me feel the most uncomfortable, but might be a good idea to do. That's the other thing I struggle with. It's easier for me to sit here and talk about my anxiety than it is to tell you how my week is gone and what I did yesterday and catching you up on the whatever task I did for the day. That one's actually more difficult for me because when I talk about my anxiety or talk about my self-doubt or whatever, I'm coming into it to try to help. I can frame it to one topic. Let's talk about anxiety, but let's narrow it down to social anxiety because I can relate to it. I can talk about it off the cuff because of my experiences with it and open up to you about it as a way to relate and feel comfortable with that because it's that controlled environment. Like I actually, speaking of the social anxiety video, that's kind of what I talk about in there is I can't be in a large room with people and mingle, but I can be on a stage playing my band in front of 1500 people. No problem, you know, because of a controlled environment. So in a way, my self help ish, as I'll call them videos, Allows me to open up, but it's a controlled environment. The vlog style stuff, I can see how I would enjoy that. It'd be fun to, I guess, I mean, even as I say that, I feel uncomfortable. It'd be, it, just, it just feels weird like to just get on a microphone in front of a camera and talk about how I went to Walmart yesterday. You know, <laughs> It surely makes it easy if I just got on the microphone three, four times a week and Just told you how my week was going. It's pretty easy. I don't have to think of anything to talk about. I just tell you what I did. Maybe if you 
want more of those kinds of videos, then I'll try them out, you know. But that's that's in a way good because it's going to help me persevere through some uncomfortableness because doing a more vlog style channel or series of videos oddly would be the most difficult for me. Uh, the story stuff is fun. Um, obviously I'm giving you a little more of me, but it's just a story of something I've done. Um, and I try to f pick the stories of things I've done that are pretty funny. I still got a bunch of stuff I could talk about. Um, but maybe I'll try more vlogs streaming. I finally tried a stream uh, a few days ago. It went well, but it was clunky because I never done it before. So what was clunky about it was first off, I, I'm going to start promoting it. So the next time I go live or I know I'm going to go live, I'm going to announce it in my Facebook group. If you're not in my group, you can search it under my name, Derek Mishu, or the link is in the description area. So I'll let you know, hey, tonight at 6 Eastern, we're going live. To give you a little more heads up. Um, and then for some reason, when I ended the stream, it took like 24 hours to be truly public. Only the subscribers that actually clicked the bell, I believe, got the notification that it was it was out there. It was live on my homepage, but my mom couldn't find it. So she could find it because of the notification, but if she went to my channel, it wasn't there. It was very bizarre. So we're learning as we go on that. But I'm very excited about streams. I want to do it more. Um, last time, the first time, we got up to 60 participants that were there live. Uh, but since then, it's got over a thousand views, so that's fun. I mean, that's for me, a thousand views is amazing. That's that first benchmark. Once I hit a thousand, cool. I feel like I've succeeded. Um, now let's work on a million. No. <laughs> um, but the streaming is fun because then I can just talk. You know, let's riff, read some comments, uh, will give me ideas, something to talk about. We can kind of try to talk in real time to each other through commenting and stuff. Um, and it's just easy and fun. So those will happen more too. So really for this video, I just wanted to come on here and ramble. Uh, no story, no self-help, um, and uh, no polls. The, uh, I will say a story about one of the videos that was interesting. Up until now, it was the worst video, the least, the worst performing video. Now the the last video I just released has, has, has uh, taken that mantle, holding up the gold medal as the, the, <laughs> the worst performing video. Um, was I told a story about how uh, at a gig in a casino in North Carolina, the, 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 uh, the the entire uh, sewage system, plumbing, if you will, of the whole casino got screwed up big time, and there was you know, there was uh, sewage coming up, toilets flooding, but in the bar area there was some stuff coming up from the floor, and it was you can imagine what it was, and it was nasty, and the, and the gig got canceled because of it, but we still got paid, so the. The hook of the story is the fact that we drove a thousand miles, hours and hours away to play one song and got paid for it because of sewage issues. <laughs> so that didn't do well at all. So is it the title? Is the fact that the word sewage is in there, is that a turnoff? You don't know. It's hard to tell, you know, and I can certainly ask for your advice, but we let's all be real here. It's going to be... You know, let's say I get 60 comments on this video. It's going to be 60 different pieces of advice. <laughs> so that's the other thing. As a YouTuber, you can't always just do everything that the audience might want. The feedback is amazing, and I will look at it, and I'll read it. Um, but at the end of the day, me as the host here, i got to do what 
I'm happy with and what I have most fun in. And right now, I'm most happy and most fun in all of it still. I'm just going to try different things, talk about different stuff, see what's good, see what's not, uh, and uh, just keep walking down this path. So 31 videos in. This is number 32, I believe. Am I right in that? Let me look here. It is. This video is going to be 32. Yes. And that's pretty cool. And um, won't be long before we hit 50. And we'll try to do something cool for 50. We'll see. But um, this is probably longer than usual. Where are we at here? 15 minutes. Not bad. See, I told you. Just wanted to come on here and mumble <laughs> the whole time. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for joining my Facebook group. Uh, I appreciate all of that. If you want to throw me a tip, I have a tip jar uh, in Patreon. It's a dollar a month if you just want to throw me a tip. You can see the link in the um, description area. And uh, look, as always, thank you. I've just said that five times. Thank you again, and you all have a good day. Thank you.